call it uh, torture. Simply put, torture. That's what they say. But the White House says it's not only legal, but perhaps necessary to save American lives. It's the controversial interrogation technique known as waterboarding. Right now, the debate over its legality is getting a fresh airing. So let's go to our White House correspondent, Ed Henry. He's watching this story for us. Uh, some law lawmakers, Ed, they want a full-scale investigation into its past use. That's right, Wolf. And the Attorney General said today that he will not investigate because the Bush Justice Department determined that the waterboarding was permissible under the law as it existed at that time. Now, if that careful wording raises some red flags, the Vice President made clear today the White House has no regrets. Vice President Cheney was defiant about the use of waterboarding on terror suspects, saying President Bush has made the right decisions in the war on terror. I've been proud to stand by him, by the decisions he's made, and would I support those same decisions again today? You're damn right I would. The vice president said waterboarding, which simulates drowning, was used on a small number of terrorists shortly after 9-11 and was justified because the administration thought another attack was imminent. It's a tougher program for tougher customers. These include Khalid Sheikh Mohammed, the mastermind of 9-11. And so, in a heightened threat environment with a persistent and evolving terrorist adversary, the absence of another 9-11 is not an accident. It is an achievement. But CIA Director Michael Hayden said Thursday he's not sure whether the tactic is currently legal. In my own view, the view of my lawyers and the Department of Justice, it is not certain that that technique would be considered to be lawful under current statute. One statute is the 2006 Military Commissions Act, and its Republican sponsors John McCain and Lindsey Graham have said they were assured it now bans waterboarding. But White House spokesman Tony Fratto left the door open to it being used again. No one is in a position to rule anything in or out because I can't speculate in terms of the future as to what uh, Director Hayden or any future uh, director of the Central Intelligence Agency may bring as a proposed technique. Human rights experts say the White House is caught in a legal hole. If they admit that waterboarding is torture, they admit that they committed a crime. If they deny it's torture, then they're basically saying to the whole world, waterboarding's legal, you could do it to American. Now, Tony Fratto was asked today, if Al-Qaeda used waterboarding on U.S. soldiers, would it be torture? He refused to speculate, but he insisted the U.S. is not giving a green light to the enemy to use waterboarding on U.S. soldiers. Well, now this is clearly an area where John McCain and George W. Bush, and Dick Cheney for that matter, they clearly disagree. That's right. Now, John McCain previously has made clear that he thinks that the law he helped pass in 2006 clearly bans waterboarding. But at this point, the White House is clearly leaving the door open uh, to the possibility of using waterboarding again. You're not hearing John McCain speak out on this right now, though, because obviously he wants to win uh, Bush conservatives right now. He doesn't want to be at odds with the White House. You're not hearing him speak out on this right now, Wolf. ...to walk between keeping us relatively fearful but not so fearful that we stop what we're doing and really examine how it is that they've been waging. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. And, uh, and that uh, we will in fact find uh, uh, weapons or, or evidence of weapons programs that are, are conclusive. I don't think we'll discover anything myself. It appears that there were not weapons of mass destruction there. You said you knew where they were. I did not yes. know where they are. They're in the area around uh, Tikrit and Baghdad and, and uh, east, west, south, and north. Well, first of all, I, I haven't lied. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Talking about lies and your, your allegation that there was bulletproof evidence of ties between Al-Qaeda and Iraq. Was that a lie? Intelligence gathered by this and other governments leaves no doubt that the Iraqi regime continues to possess and conceal some of the most lethal weapons ever devised. Are people going to find out the truth? And the truth will say that this intelligence is good intelligence, no doubt in my mind. I don't know anybody that I can think of who has contended that the Iraqis had nuclear weapons. And we believe he has, in fact, reconstituted nuclear weapons. Saddam Hussein is determined to get his hands on a nuclear bomb. We cannot wait for the final proof. He's got him. He's got him. The smoking gun. He's got him. 
that could come in the form of a mushroom cloud. Colin Powell didn't lie. My colleagues, every statement I make today is backed up by sources, solid sources. These are not assertions. What we're giving you are facts and conclusions based on solid intelligence. He has not developed any significant capability with respect to weapons of mass destruction. He is unable to project conventional power against his neighbors. The, are people going to find out the truth? I have not suggested there's a connection between Iraq and the 9-11. You have said in the past that it was, quote, pretty well confirmed. No, I never said that. Okay. I, I never think said that, that is... No, it's absolutely not. What I said was, uh, it's been pretty well confirmed that he did go to Prague and he did meet with um, a senior official of the Iraqi intelligence service. Saddam Hussein aids and protects terrorists, including members of Al-Qaeda. Secretly and without fingerprints, he could provide one of his hidden weapons to terrorists or help them develop their own. What did Iraq have to do with what? The attack on the World Trade Center. Nothing! He said there were three main reasons for going to war in Iraq. Weapons of mass destruction. Saddam Hussein has gone to elaborate lengths, spent enormous sums, taken great risks to build and keep weapons of mass destruction. The claim that Iraq was sponsoring terrorists would have attacked us on 9-11. Before September the 11th, many in the world believed that Saddam Hussein could be contained. And that Iraq had purchased nuclear materials from Niger. The regime is seeking a nuclear bomb. Now, all three of those turned out, turned out to be false. Uh, first, uh, just if I might correct a misperception, I, I don't think we ever said, at least I know I didn't say, that there was a direct connection between September the 11th and, 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 and Saddam Hussein. Who does the president think he's effing kidding? Uh, of course, it was information that was mistaken. There are a lot of people who lie and get away with it. Those weapons of mass destruction got to be somewhere. <laughs> nope, no weapons over there. <laughs> Maybe under here. When you have a precedent set like that, and you have somebody, George Tennant, acknowledging in his book that he knew that the administration was deceiving the American people into a situation that is murdering young men and women from this country and others. That George Tennant and Dick Cheney and Condoleezza Rice and George Bush et al. should be in fucking jail. I'm going to figure out what to do with uh, all of the uh, debris. How about you? You made money off the go floor! And now you're going to vote for your fascist son! All lies! All lies! Kill lies! Stop the lies! Stop the lies! It is important. What would each of you ask Blackwater to do to help you come to terms with the loss that you've suffered? Just the truth. The, I mean, basic truth. You know, we live in the best country in the whole wide world. Why can't we have the basics, what we were built on, the truth, you know? Mm -hmm. God and truth. I would like an account from start to finish of that day. Whether I want to hear it or see it, I, I would. Um, every minute of it, every part of it, the truth. They showed such a callous disregard for life. 
and now they claim we have no rights, that we don't have the right to sue them. I don't know about you, but I am outraged. Where is your outrage? 